Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about PV wind and battery based DC microgrid. And this PV system and wind energy system will be controlled by means of a neural network MVPT. That means neural network based maximum power point tracking algorithm. So, this is a simulation model we developed for. PV wind battery based DC microgrid with the neural network MBPT. So, this system consists of wind energy conversion system. That means this is wind turbine, and then so this is PMSG permanent magnet signal generator, and then this is diode rectifier, and then this is nothing but boost converter. And this boost converter going to be controlled by means of this neural network MBPT. So this neural network MBPT receiving two inputs. So one is rectifier voltage, another one is rectifier current. So based upon rectifier voltage and current, so it going to be generated the duty cycle. So this duty cycle going to be processed via this speed volume generator. So this speed volume generator will be generated the pulse for this boost converter. In order to extract the maximum power from the wind turbine, so here you can see that this is wind turbine. So wind turbine is rated at six point five kilowatts. So it will be generated maximum six point five kilowatt power. Okay, at a twelve meter per second. And here you can see that the system having PV system PV array. So here you can see this is a PV array. So here you can see that uh, the single panel rating is 250 watts, and then voltage at maximum power point will be 30.7, and current at maximum power point is 8.8.15 amps. Okay. So here we are using uh, eight panel in series in each string, and totally we have three parallel string. Okay. So from that here you can see that maximum you will get around the six kilowatt, right? So at the standard test condition, that means. Uh, at thousand watts per meter square and twenty five degrees Celsius. Okay, so we are we will get around the six kilowatt from the PV array, and then this PV array going to be connected to the DC bus. So this is nothing but a DC bus. So this DC bus via this boost converter, and this boost converter going to be controlled by means of an again neural network MPPT. So that means this neural network going to be uh, receive two inputs voltage and current. The output will be to the cycle, and it going to be process a pulse volume generator, and it going to be generate the pulse. So this pulse going to be control this a uh, boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV as well as boost the voltage. Okay, that means here it, the voltage will be to forty five volt, and then here we are going to measure that means uh, here the DC bus type. In DC bus, we are going to maintain around 400 volt. So far, that we are using this boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV, PV array as well as to boost the voltage. As well as this boost converter also going to going to do the same process to step up the voltage as well as extract the maximum power from the wind turbine and the generator model. Okay. And here we have the load. So here we have that. Uh, Load right, so load here we are using around the uh, two thousand watts. Okay, so here you can see that we have the equation V square by B, right? So V here we are going to maintain uh, voltage around four hundred. So that's why four hundred into four hundred divided by two thousand two two thousand nothing but uh, the power rating of that load. Okay, so next we are going to see about uh, battery energy system. So here we are using battery energy system. So battery rating around 240 volt and rated uh, capacity is 48 ah, and it going to be connected to the common DC bus via this bidirectional converter. So why we are using this bidirectional converter means so we need to uh, have the both direction power flow right that means current flow because uh, when excess power is there in the PV and the wind so that need to be stored in the battery. If there is no power in the PV and wind, then we need to take power from the battery to load, right? So for that we need a uh, both direction, right? The current flow should be in both direction according with the the power balance in the system. Okay. So for that we need bidirectional converter. 
so this bidirectional converter can be controlled by means of voltage control method so that means we have to measure the voltage across this dc bus and then it going to be compared with the 400 volt and then it going to be processed via pa controller so this pa controller going to be generate the uh, duty cycle based upon this voltage error and then it going to be processed via pedulum generator so this pedulum generator will be generate the pulse for this two igpt of this bidirectional converter in order to maintain the dc bus voltage around to 400 volt so this is a detail about this model so next you have to see about the simulation results so in order to create uh, have the uh, dynamic uh, result concept so here we are changing the wind speed from 12 meter per second to 10 meter per second and then 8 meter per second okay and here we are changing the radiation from a uh, 1700 400 and uh, 100 watts per meter square every one second okay and then you can see the result here right here you can see the result of uh, uh, that mean uh, the boost converter right that mean uh, wind side boost converter at a fair power and boost converter power and then here you can see the result of pv voltage current and power and here you can see the result of dc bus voltage dc load current dc load power and here you can see the result of battery voltage and battery current and here you can see the result of the source of the battery okay so now i'm going to simulate this model in order to see the results of the system for change in irradiation as well as wind speed condition change in wind speed condition so i'm going to simulate this one So here you can see that uh, we are getting around uh, 6 kilowatt right uh, during 1000 watts per meter square and also here you will see that power at a uh, boost converter stage right boost converter output right is around uh, 5000 so 5000 or uh, 5500 kilowatt right uh, is around uh, 5300 kilowatt okay so here you will see the voltage is around 245 volt current is around 24 amps so here you will get around 6 kilowatt right at 1000 watts per meter square so here we are getting power at boost converter side of the wind energy conversion system is around 5.3 kilowatt kilowatts and then here you will see the dc bus voltage maintained at 400 volt and DC load current made it around 5 amps and then we are getting around uh, uh, the load power around 2000 watts okay so here you can see the battery voltage maintained around 260 volt and then battery current is around the minus 35 amps this may, that means it is negative so what's the meaning battery in charging mode condition right battery is in charging mode because system having excess power right uh, PV and wind having excess power uh, that means uh, surplus uh, surplus power so that's why battery is in a charging mode so that can be seen from the soc of the battery so soc is keep on increasing if it is keep on increasing means it's battery in charging mode okay so now we can see that battery sorry pv radiation change to 700 so that's why the pv power comes to 4000 watts per uh, 4000 watts at 700 uh, watts per meter square so that's why you can see here a difference right the battery current is uh, decreased to minus 30 amps so because of reduction in that uh, uh, pv power so and also here you can see that the at, after 1.3 second uh, the wind speed change from 12 meter per hour to uh, 10 meter per second because of that uh, the power of uh, boost converter in the wind energy system is around 2200 watts so because of that also the battery charging level is decreasing okay so you can see that the battery current charging level is keep on decreasing according with the system but here you can see that dc load always getting the constant power from the uh, both pv and the wind okay so now we can see that pv power is reduced to around 2000 watts because of reduction in the radiation to 400 watts per meter square so because of that reduction the battery current is reduced to around minus 10 amps load power is maintained around 2000 watts constantly okay so without any deviation so now uh, here from that you can see that right according with the change in um, 
irradiation wind speed right so battery charging level is decreasing and uh, uh, dc load always getting in, in dc bus the dc load per load always getting power constantly okay so let me check after changing irradiation to 100 watts per meter square after that that and also we will check that uh, uh, when wind spin goes to 8 meter per second so we will check the result of battery whether it going for a discharging mode or not okay because during that condition pv and the wind is not generating as much power to supply the load so we need to supply the load uh, right so during that time battery should comes to discharging mode okay so now we can see here right so pv is comes to around zero and then wind also comes to zero so now you can see that battery is uh, discharging now right battery current goes from negative to positive so what is the meaning so battery now in uh, discharging condition so why is discharging condition so the power generation from wind as well as pv is is very less than that uh, uh, load power in the dc bus so that's why battery goes to discharging mode so now we can see that battery is in a so sorry uh, dc bus load is continuously having the constant power from the battery now right because of uh, there is no power from the pv and the wind so for the training of a neural network right so we are having the data so this is the data we are having so here you can see the input uh, so this input data for uh, pv and this input data for a uh, wind so this is output data for a uh, pv and this is output data for wind so based upon this data we train that uh, neural network okay so this is working of uh, pv wind battery based uh, dc microgrid with the neural network in ppt so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye